Well, welcome back. Our next guest may have come from humble beginnings, but Gertrude Machi has big, has big dreams. She and her family moved here from Zimbabwe in 2001. And she's just written her autobiography called Born on the Continent, Ubuntu. Welcome to the show, Gertrude. Thank you. I think we should explain to people at home first what Ubuntu means. Ubuntu is a Zulu word that says a person is only a person through other people. My name is Gertrude Ruazano Munyaradzi Mache. And I was born on one of the most fascinating continents in the world. And the only thing I could think of was a phrase I had read in a book that morning that said, if a man kicks you on the butt, it would push you towards your goalpost. The only thing that could come in my mind. And I stood in his office and I thought, maybe this is a kick in the butt that I need. I formed a company called Medical Recruiters of New Zealand in 2001. I'm sharing my story because I've had a lot of positivity mm -hmm. despite the challenges I've had in life. Mm -hmm. We have to learn to find innovative ways of marketing and selling our products. We need to learn how to network and to find opportunities for maximum exposure and hopefully maximum sales. We need to learn to utilize technology such as the internet to sell our goods all around the country and abroad. My background was computers. Mm -hmm. I was trained as a systems analyst. When I got to New Zealand, I had to find a way of working from home. So I went into business. My main business is a medical recruiting agency. Mm. It was in response to the need for health professionals in New Zealand. My husband is a doctor. And when he was job hunting, we found hundreds of vacancies on the internet for health professionals. And I made $125,000 in that first year with five doctors sitting in my bedroom slippers at home. The typical African woman is at the bottom of the food chain. Mm. My name is Gertrude Mache, instead of the traditional Gertrude, the German name. My grandmother was brought up in a German orphanage. And she was taken from her parents as a child and brought up in this orphanage. And she never knew who her people were. And she says when she learned to read and write the English language, she decided to drop the R in her name as an act of defiance. She decided to get rude. So I've kept my grandmother's misspelled name for that reason. And I guess the underlying message is to people like me who've managed to leave Africa, who are living in first world countries, not to forget what we've left behind. Mm -hmm. My mother can sell snow to the Eskimos and sand to the Arabs of the desert. She is the most fantastic salesperson you will ever meet. My business has grown. I'm now franchising it this year. I'm currently looking after an average of 150 HIV orphans from my immediate family alone. Mm -hmm. I wanted to try and raise some money so I could see those children through school and through to university because the only way we'll break the cycle of HIV in Africa is through education. Thank you. 